All right, this is a removal of an outdoor unit. Right now he's just unlocking the front. He's gonna take some photos. Photos you have to take first of kiosk condition and kiosk number and serial number. We're going to take pictures of the general condition of the kiosk. It's operational. So the front and each side. And the last picture we'll take will be the condition of the ground when we're done. So show that it's complete. As you open it, you need to remove all the movies <clears throat> that the box is provided. So I'll show you those. Alright, so when you start taking the movies out, the arm's already in a in the home position. So you want to go ahead and remove the movies below that point first. Because then we're going to move the arm down and get the ones above it. Yep. Okay, now he's going to lower the, the arm. There's a little switch up here on the top and it moves this entire robot down at the bottom. Then he's going to turn off the power button. So when you load the boxes, best just to stand the videos on their end like this. And these are the boxes that we provide. And then once you're done, we're going to write the kiosk ID on the side and the number of DVDs inside the box. He's putting the kiosk ID, the number of movies, one of one boxes. This, this kiosk had 190. So most kiosks are going to have, or uh, boxes, you're going to have probably two or three per kiosk. So this one only has one. Yeah. Now we're going to undo the power. You're going to run the power cord through the opening in the kiosk. Now time to cut the bolts. Be ready. All right, so we're going to cut the legs or the uh, the legs off, but leave the support legs down with the feet here while you do that. Um, this secures the kiosk and keeps it from falling on you. So now he's going to cut that first bolt. He left some sticking out so you can remove it with a wrench after he moves the kiosk, so that's the point. And if you cut it all the way flush to the ground, then it's hard for you to recover that and fix the hole. So. Okay. Let's cut the other side. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to take the bolts out with a ratchet. If you prefer to cut the bolts, as shown earlier, you can do that. Um, this is just another way if you if you want to use a ratchet uh, and not have to mess with backing out that bolt with a pair of channel locks, you can do this. So first, he's removing this prop tray. This prop tray just has one little screw. Sorry, two little screws. <laughs> oh, 
The second bolt's back here where you took out the power cord. It's just, let me just get a shot of that. He's backing that out if you can see it right there. And it's a three quarter inch ratchet. Mm -hmm. No, it's a nine sixteenth socket. Nine sixteenth socket to get those out. You need the extension. So sometimes it's easier to cut them and then take them out with a with a wrench. And uh, we'll show you how to fill the holes here in a second. Let's go. Okay, now we've taken the bolts out. It's still sitting on the legs. We're gonna go ahead and strap these belts. Let's keep the robot from moving up and down. So you do one on the top, one on the bottom. If you don't have these straps, you can use a colored electrical tape, not black. Just the colored electrical tape will work also, but these straps work better. <laughs> 